Hey guys, everything doing good here? Thought I'd do a little update. Uh, everything's doing good out here. Chickens are out eating. Haven't had any more losses to the hawk. I have heard them though. Goats are out there on the edge of the property. Um, eating. Just a beautiful day. We need rain really bad, but besides that, you could not have any more prettier weather. It has been 60s during the day and uh, low to high 40s at night. It has been gorgeous. Oh, I love it. All the trees are changing. Um, just really been awesome. But I said that to show you this. Oh, I couldn't help it. <laughs> All right, we'll start start at the top. These two, I got their two dose champagnes, um, and I kind of did this as a new person would do. The only difference is I did not buy a buck because I found a local person here that has a white New Zealand buck, and these are strictly going to be for meat. Um, and so I haven't, you know, I'm not. Um, what do you say? I'm doing like I would have expect y'all to do if y'all are going to get rabbits. I looked on Craigslist and found a animal swap. They had chickens and rabbits. I got there. There wasn't much to choose from, uh, but they did have these two older does. These are two and a half year old does. I'll plan on getting one litter out of them. Um, they're tattooed. They both in 4-H does. They have really good form. They're kind of poor condition. I don't want to say that from the people I got it from, but you know, they didn't have that many rabbits. They thought they were awesome, but, ugh. like, let me put it this way. If I still had my reds, I would not bring these rabbits to my house because they're old. This one here has a leaky eye, but they wanted $25 a piece for them, and I said, I'll give you $10 a piece. And they didn't want to take them home, so they took it. Uh, both of them, I'm about to breed both of them to a white uh, New Zealand down the road, really nice looking white New Zealand, so we'll get some good cross babies out of that for the winter. All right, this girl I got back uh, a couple of days uh, or a couple of weeks ago. So my family brought her up from where I used to live. I gave her to a kid to raise for the fair, and the fair's over, and so they didn't want her no more. She's a lilac mini rex. It's a light blue. It's like a blue with silver. Very pretty doe, but I don't think I'm gonna keep her. I'll probably sell her for twenty, twenty-five dollars, and pay for all these other rabbits. Uh, just because the only buck I have, I don't want a buck right now. I'm not getting back into rabbits right now. I'm just going to raise some meat. Um, and even if I did have a buck, it'd be a meat buck. And I don't want a breeder to that. And so I might find a local person to breed her to a mini rex and get some mini rex babies. Uh, but I may trade her also. Then down here is just a young white New Zealand. She's uh, eight months old. She had one litter a little early. Um, so she's not full potential, but she's perfect for what I'm looking for. She had seven, a raised seven at five and a half months old. That's way too young. I want to breed till five months. And on her, uh-uh, uh-uh, okay, go on. Um, I w wouldn't breed that young. And so, and the person, you know, they said it was an accident. The buck got her to do the water, and that happens. But I have her, and I'm going to breed her to the white New Zealand, too. So those are the new additions to Champagne does that are about two years old. Um, which is old. I usually don't buy dough that old. Uh, there's no need in it, except if you're going to do the reason I'm doing, and it's going to be for their offspring, keeping their offspring. Um, or I may get rid of their offspring by the time they have their babies. There'll be time for me to go get those reds, and I may not, but they were just beautiful does. Get a side view. Really big does. You can't really see in this barn, but really pretty. Really pretty. See a tattoo in there. Um, a good dose, just old dose, and I don't do old dose, but for the purpose, I was just having rabbit withdrawals, and for what I needed, this was perfect. I can breed these and plan on getting one one good litter out of them. I know one had a litter of 11, and one had a litter of 6 or something like that, but the people that had them thought the perfect litter was 4. I don't know where they got their number in their head, but when they had 11, they just said that they couldn't believe she had that many. And I'm not sure if they killed some or fostered some, but they said they only let her raise 6. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Did not even go there. But there's the rabbits. Uh, Going to have three meat does. I have an extra pin here. This pin is really nice. I, I got this pin before I moved. Excuse me, for $50. It has six compartments. But then I can also pull the center out, and it makes three huge compartments. And so it's three compartment or six compartment. And so my thinking is if I have, if I get rid of her and I have these three does, 
they'll stay in one side and then when they uh, nest I open it up and let them nest on the opposite side of their cage and then when it's time to wean the babies I can put the divider and the babies will stay on one side um, or I can put um, two mamas and separate little ones and get the babies a big one like on top where they have more room to move um, but like I said I'm not going to be doing a bunch it's just going to be these little ones right now to the spring but I had to get some rabbits um, in the spring I'm going to get more because I just you do what you're good at, and I'm good at rabbits, <laughs> like a lot of y'all told me. Uh, and so, oh, with another small thing about rabbits. I was researching last night. Sometimes I don't get the messages if y'all comment. I don't get them. And so I was looking on some of my old videos, and I saw where some people would ask me questions, and I would never gotten them. Um, but other people answered them. And, yes, there are some good people out there that will answer questions. But before you – um, how do you say this? Before you listen to what somebody says on a comment, click their name and see what they have on their channel. Because I did this last night, and it was the person was telling how many dates and then rebreed how many dates, and I clicked on her channel. It's like a 12 year old little girl that's making videos of her dolls, and that's fine. Don't get me wrong; you can make videos of your dolls, but don't give rabbit advice to somebody that's really looking for some good advice. If I don't answer your comment, please personal message me and I know I'll get that because I get all those and I'll try to answer your question for you okay well thank y'all guys and these are the new girls haven't named them yet they're champagnes a lilac mini rex and a white New Zealand and they are in this stall right here then originally I had here's Caleb the reason I told him he can't go over there is because I just put mouse traps out and knowing him he'd stick his nose in it he's doing really good he's almost part of the family he he tries to dig in a trash every once in a while and gets in trouble but he's doing good he's a very smart dog but they're in the stall right here right now and they're doing good talk to y'all later guys bye bye